So this video is about making uh, inserts for the Carter Products uh, ball jam system. And uh, so I figured out how to make some rubber, which you'll see later on, and made these nifty inserts, nice and soft, so they shouldn't scratch the uh, balls when, I, when they're sanded. The originals are a little firm, and uh, I found that I marked the balls when I'm uh, sanding them. Turned into a bit of a rubber making uh, frenzy. So I made, as you'll see in the video, I made uh, a ring for my ball hollowing jam, R rubber for the bottom finishing jam checks. I made a couple cones for rings and so on. Pretty cool video has a bit of, uh, shows a little bit of how to mix it up, but uh, you can search YouTube uh, for instructions on making rubbers, different variations and formulas and so on. Uh, turns pretty good. I put it in the end of the video to show you how to uh, turn it. You need to be very uh, sharp and use a very cute angle. Um, skew chisel worked really well. Just, go, but just have to go straight in and drop the nose into the final point. Um, and it sands. I uh, sanded most everything with 80 grit to give it a sort of a high uh, surface area texture to it. It kind of softens it up as well. Gives it more uh, uh, sticking power. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video on uh, explaining how to make the these things and showing you how to turn it. do is make a uh, silicone rubber uh, insert that hopefully will be nice and soft and when we uh, Jam the two the ball between the two. There won't be any marks. We can even sand up to 600 grit. The plan is to put a little riser on it, and I'm just going to use some packing tape and a strip of plastic to rise, raise the edge up for the silicone putty. Uh, and so I want a kind of a soft silicone putty so I'm going to do the silicone and um, cornstarch um, mix and uh, do it till it's kind of tacky. I'm hoping that the hole in the middle will retain the insert and then I'm just going to use a ball roughed out ball to shape it and then final turn it on the lathe. So the next stage is to make some silicone rubber. Okay, I've just started mix some uh, uh, silicone onto cornstarch and add a couple drops of yellow. And now we put some cornstarch on top.
next, uh, what I'm going to do is going to make a, a protective ring for my ball jam chuck. So, put the ball in, screw it together. Got a mouse pad that goes inside here, or a neoprene from water suit, uh, wetsuit. Got this tough, so I'm going to make a seal here uh, that maybe can just stay on, or at least will clip over top. So, make it a lot easier. And I got different sizes. This is a bigger one and bigger openings. There's a bigger one. And like that holds on to it. Not the right size balls, but you get the idea. Okay, so my uh, finished making the rubber. I'm just going to take off the uh, little uh, plastic. So now I'm going to mount them back in and then try to turn off the face to make them uh, nice and smooth. 